Get in, loser. We're going shopping at TJ Maxx. All right, first thing I see is this really pretty layered necklace from Cynthia Rowley. It's only $15 and it's so pretty and it looks like super expensive, so I'm gonna grab this. So I'm looking at the purses and look at how adorable these little bags are, you guys. Like, it's definitely giving me like Barbie vibes. Like this hot pink with the gold is so cute and I feel like this is like super easy to... And this is like super easy to clean and travel with. I love the size and it's only $13. So um, yeah, we're gonna grab that. This is the brand of both of the bags, by the way, if you're curious. And this one's also $13. It's like a really light baby pink. And I love this color, but I prefer the size of the hot pink one. So I'm gonna grab that one, but this is like everything. This is like a fun way to like add some color to like a really simple outfit or something in the summertime. I love it, so. All right, let's see what else we can find. They also have this one, which is like really fun. Same brand, same price, just kind of like different colors. And then they have these over here too, which are bigger. They're different, but I think that they're definitely like really fun for the summertime. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have a black one as well. I love the black and gold detail. And this is from the same brand, but this one's actually a little bit cheaper. It's $10, so we're gonna grab that because I feel like the black one could be great for every day. And then the pink is just fun for like a pop of color. All right, now we have the fun stuff. The makeup, skincare, and the random beauty products. Let's see what we can find. These foot files are the best. You can get them pretty much anywhere, but normally they have them on sale here. Like see, yeah, they're $4 right here. So these are amazing. If you ever wanna give yourself a little at-home pedicure or like exfoliate your feet, these are the best, especially for your heels. This is a must have for summer. They really do have like the most random beauty products here. Like we have Profusion up top, which I love Profusion and they always have it at TJ Maxx normally. And it's usually always super, super affordable. There's also like a random Urban Decay concealer right here for $5.50. This is super random and boring, but I always like to get my shower caps from TJ Maxx and mine actually has a hole in it and it's really old, so I'm gonna just grab another one. And this one's $4. If you have not switched out your pillowcases, go to TJ Maxx and get this two pack of satin pillowcases. They always have them here and they're super affordable. Like this one's just $8. And I have the same exact ones and they're so comfortable, so I love these. Okay, this is something else that I love to incorporate in my beauty routine, a scalp massager. This feels so good and they're super affordable. Okay, Real Techniques has like some of the best high-end quality brushes at such a great price and you can usually get them discounted here at TJ Maxx. Like this little trio set is amazing and it's six dollars. So just two dollars a brush and you have three brushes that you could use for like all different things for your face. So I love Real Techniques. I've really been enjoying a lot of their brushes. They also have this little Real Techniques makeup sponge little set. So you get four sponges in here which is so good for twelve dollars and I actually really like the sponge. I used to hate it like years ago when I tried it but then I feel like they changed it and now it's really good. So this is a good deal too. We have another little Real Techniques brush set for $6. So you can get like so many different face brushes under $20. A lot of times they also have like random Sigma brushes here as well. Like this one here is just $10, which is crazy because these are normally really expensive. They have this little self tanning velvet sponge set, which looks really good. It kind of reminds me of the Juno and Co sponges, but you get three in here for $6. I actually have been wanting to self tan now that it's like getting a little bit warmer out. So I think I'm going to get these and try them out.
get the most random thing. I didn't know that they had stuff like this here at TJ Maxx, but they have a 10 inch LED ring light, which is amazing. If any of you guys want to start a YouTube channel or you want to have this for like doing TikToks or Instagram reels, this is actually so perfect. And it's just $20, which is a really good deal. Okay, I made my way over to like the body care, skincare section, and I see this Tree Hut Shea Moisturizing Body Wash. So they actually make my favorite shave oil that smells so good. It literally smells like a vacation and this is the same scent, coconut lime, which I think is perfect for summer. So I'm gonna grab one of these, it's $4. And like I said, this is such a perfect like summer tropical scent, but it's not like too overwhelming. So I'm gonna grab this. Oh wow, they actually have a bunch of them here. Yeah, this scent is really good. I love Tree Hut. They're such a good affordable body care brand. Okay, we have a little dupe alert here. Mini makeup remover towels. These are really good makeup eraser dupes, $4. The makeup eraser is really good, but these are good alternatives. So check these out. All you have to do is add water and it'll remove all your makeup. All right, I found some super goop. I've actually never tried this brand before, but I've heard really good things. Okay, I'm also gonna grab this Pacifica C Purify Balancing Clay Mask. It says it's for combo skin and it's super affordable. And I have a couple of products from this brand that I really like, so I'm gonna test this out. All right, I think it did pretty good. So let's check out and I'll show you guys everything that I got when I get home. I'm just about to check out and this is how they always get you at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna add these in, they look so cute. So I am back home now. I'm going to do a little haul and show you guys everything that I got. Most of the things that I showed you guys in stores, I did end up picking up. But here's a little overview. And there's Bernard in the background looking so cute and handsome. I love you. Okay, first up here we have a little shower cap, which I believe I did show you guys in stores. I always just like to usually get them from like Ross or TJ Maxx, and this one was super affordable, $4. I also did end up getting both of these little purses. I thought they were perfect for the summertime, and the fact that they were so affordable, I was like, okay, I can't help myself. So the pink one was $13, and then the black one I got on sale for $10. So the pink is just really fun for summer if I ever want to do like a pop of color. I'm super plain with a lot of my clothes, so I like incorporating accessories and things like this just to kind of like add a little extra something to the outfit. So I thought that was so cute, even for like a little date night. It's just a perfect size, I feel like for me too, because I can fit my phone and like my small little wallet in here. So it's perfect. And then I wanted to get the black one because I really wanted just a simple little bag that I feel like I could wear for like literally anything, like dressing up or dressing down. And again, it was on sale, so I couldn't help myself. And this is super easy to clean. Like this material is perfection. So I'm excited about those. I thought those were like such good finds. I also did get these little self tanning velvet spots. Sponges. So I tried the Juno and Co sponges a few years back. Wasn't a huge fan of them. So I wanted to try these out because it said self tanning. So I thought maybe for like harder to get areas on your body, this could make the self tanner look super seamless. And I thought the three pack for $6 was a really good deal. So I'll let you guys know how these are, but they look really good. And I like the variety. I also did get this Pure Bliss lip oil. I've tried a couple different lip oils. I'm honestly not a huge fan of a lot of them. Like the ones from Ulta I know are super popular, but those actually Actually, like irritate my lips but I wanted to try these out because they looked really good I do love the feeling of a good lip oil but a lot of them just haven't worked out for me but this one is vanilla strawberry raspberry and grape and it was five dollars moving into more makeup first of all this right here I was so intrigued it kind of looks like a little like booklet slash magazine and like how gorgeous is the cover I love so this is from the brand Cara Beauty I was looking it up when I was in stores on my phone and this actually is like a legit brand like they have their own website and everything and a lot of their palettes are actually a little bit pricier on their website versus TJ Maxx, of course. So I thought these were such a great deal. This one was $7. And then this one that I have here, the Cara Duo, this one was $9. And this is just such a stunning, fun palette. I love the little pops of color. This highlighter right here and bronzer duo looks so pretty. And I thought like, again, perfect for the summertime. And then we have the Cara Duo palette. This was $9. And this is actually a really fun, colorful palette that I thought was so pretty. I actually have a couple other colorful looks in mind. So this is perfect. I just got another pair of lashes. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Fifth Avenue Collection Lashes in the style Lavish. I've actually tried these before and they're really pretty and I thought for like an everyday simple lash they were perfect. And these were five dollars. Then I picked up these little iPads from the brand Kala. So this says it reduces puffiness and relieves tension and I was all for it because I always have the worst like most irritated dry eyes ever. Ever since I got my LASIK eye surgery I feel like my eyes need a little extra TLC especially before filming whenever I prep I always 
like to do usually like warm compresses and lots of eye drops, all that fun stuff. So I thought these would be great to put on my eyes before filming or even before bed. I just feel like it would be really soothing and it would feel really nice, especially after filming or even before as well. And they were just $4 and you can see here on the back, you can use them cold or warm as well. Then I got these little clips, like how adorable are these? I've never seen clips like these, like with this kind of style, but I love the colors, love the shape of them as well. They're like rounded and these were $5. Okay, then we have a couple other little beauty products here. So I saw this brand and it looked really good. They had a couple other products there, but I just went with the mascara because I'm always down for trying out a good mascara. This is the brand Crop. So this is a vegan mascara. All of their products were super affordable and it's an Australian owned brand, which I love. So I thought that was super cool. And this is another product from the same brand Crop. This is just a little lipstick and this one is in Billy Blush. It just looked really pretty. Just like a good little lipstick to throw in my purse. And then I picked up the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I tried this out a few years ago and I wanted to feature this in an upcoming dupes video because I feel like I have really good dupes concealers. I also picked up the Super Goop Bright Eyed Mineral Eye Cream. I've never tried anything from the brand so I was super excited to see that there and this was $10. I've been so into masking. I've been doing them every single week and I've been really enjoying them. So I picked up the Pacifica C Purify Balancing Clay Mask which looks really good. I was honestly super intrigued by this because it does say it's best for combo skin which I have so I'll keep you guys updated on this. I did pick up the Tree Hut Shea Moisturizing Body Wash. This smells like a summer dream. So I was checking out and I saw that they had the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This is one of my favorite deep conditioning masks. This smells so good. I've been using this for years like since I was in high school. When I used to bleach my hair way back when like almost 10 years ago this product saved my hair and this helps so much with breakage, dry, damaged hair. It's the best so I always recommend this. I actually haven't used this in a little bit so I'm excited to have it again because it smells amazing. It's a little bit pricier but it's so good. I'm telling you guys it's the best. You know I couldn't resist some good old kettle corn. This one is sweet and salty, which is like my dream. I like this brand too because, well, first of all, $2 for a big bag of kettle corn. We love that, but the ingredients are minimal too, which I love. I ended up getting these Steve Madden sandals, which are so cute. I like the way they look on my feet. These were pricier, but again, I just really liked the style of them and I feel like I can wear these with pretty much anything. This is like a better look of what they look like. I love them. They're so cute. And then I saw this revolving organizer. It also has like dividers right here. So you could put beauty products in here, even like cleaning products if you have anything that you want to put under your sink. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for, but it is very versatile and it was $12.99. Okay, I don't know why it says Marshalls on it because I literally got this from TJ Maxx. So I just wanted to show you guys that this is perfect for tampons. So I have all of my tampons here organized just based on like the size of them. So these are the ones that I use for my light period days, regular, and then these are the ones that I use on like the first couple nights when my period's heavier. And then I have, of course, my pads right here. So I love this. It's so practical. I like the fact that it spins too. It's just really convenient. So I'm going to put this right under the sink. I had to share it with you guys because this is such a good find. And last but not least, I got some clothing. So first I got this black v-neck bodysuit. I love like the v-neck cut. I feel like it's very flattering and I love a good like just traditional neutral bodysuit. I also like how it's kind of open in the back a little bit. It was $10 and this is the brand if you're wondering, Shine Star. Like this right here would be such a cute outfit because normally whenever I wear basics like this, I like to dress them up with accessories like gold jewelry and lots of necklaces and stuff like that. So it would be a really cute, simple outfit. I also just got this basic white cropped shirt. This was $6 from the brand Bazolo. I like the detail on this too. Again, really basic, but it could be cute with like necklaces, strappy sandals, maybe some high-waisted shorts or something. And the very last thing that I picked up is this dress, which I don't know about it, you guys. Like I have to try it on still. It's one of those clothing pieces where I'm like, it looked better, I think, in store versus like now that I have it here, I'm like, hmm. I don't know about this. But yeah, that is everything that I got from TJ Maxx. I hope you guys enjoyed this little shop with me. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Let me know where else I should shop at down below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.